After weeks of tensions over the Niger-Benin pipeline, Niger has strongly condemned what it calls violations of agreements on the contract and transport of Niger's oil by Benin. In a statement read out on television on Saturday, June 8, Niger's military spokesman harshly criticized the actions of Benin's president Patrice Talon, accusing him of trying to corner Niger through multiple violations of bilateral agreements and hostile actions affecting the transport of its oil. The transport of Niger's crude oil to Benin is based on three agreements signed on January 23, 2019, August 5, 2019, and September 15, 2019, respectively. According to Colonel Major Abdraman Amadou, these agreements clearly stipulate that the pipeline transport system between the two countries must operate without hindrance, even in the event of conflict. However, he points out that tensions have continued to rise since the military regime took power on July 26, 2023. Niger also accuses President Patrice Talon of using subterfuge and hostile actions to impede the normal operation of the pipeline. On June 5, 2024, the situation reached a new peak with the arrest of several WAPCO Niger employees by the Beninese authorities on the SEMI platform. These workers were on official business and had followed all travel procedures between Niamey and Cotonou. Benin justified these actions by citing alleged plans to commit acts against state security. However, the Nigerian authorities see these actions as a series of provocations orchestrated by foreign powers using President Talon to destabilize Niger. Determined to defend its citizens and its interests, Niger has demanded the immediate and unconditional release of the hostages. Niamey has also appealed to China, Niger's strategic partner, to make a firm commitment to ensure that the contractual clauses are respected.